Hey, how's it going guys? Zerai here. So I finally got Black Myth Wukong Platinum Trophy. And today I want to give my full proper review after finishing this game and of course getting this Platinum Trophy. Now I want to say up front and as you can obviously as you read the title of this video, I'm not exactly pleased with this game. In fact, I'm just honestly, right, the Platinum Adventure was awful. It was, it makes you miserable. But that's not the issue that I had majority of the time while playing through this game. It's also because I feel that the game is quite flawed in a lot of ways, and I will mention all of it here in a moment. But the thing is, it just makes me kind of argue and think about, wait, why is this game getting 9s and 10s out of 10s? I just don't see it. In fact, in some ways I'm kind of like puzzled how could he even receive an 8? Now, this game, I feel like it's overpraised. It really is. And I've, uh, I'm just worried. Because what the main aspects of games that such as this I absolutely love, like it's a little closer to Souls-like experienced games, I'm a fan of them. But this game really rubbed me the wrong way, and I just do not like that. So, I want to mention a few of the things regarding the good, the bad, and of course the Platinum Adventure experience included. And just in general, my full review for Black Myth Wukong. I want to mention as well that in my impressions video for uh, Black Myth Wukong, everything stands. I want to mention. Like, all the good, all the bad is all there. As an example, parts of the story are phenomenal. I absolutely love them. And also some not a good parts, like incredible boss fights with impressive designs. Even I'll argue and say that the bosses here surpasses even Elden Ring, including the DLC, in terms of the visual aesthetic and how many and diversified they are. Now, in terms of the, the way that they look, because there's actually a negative part of this as well, unfortunately. And I'll get into that a little bit later. Now, regarding another positive, regard, uh, like I already mentioned in my impressions video, about the combat. When it clicks, it really clicks. It gets fun. It gets, it gets interesting. But once again, there's a negative into that point as well, I will mention it in a little bit. It's absolutely stuffed with plenty of content for you to do. And of course, if you're willing to find it as well, because there's plenty of secrets to uh, find out there as well. Now, again, it's not exactly straight up. Well, I have to mention it in here anyway. Maybe there's a little bit of a mixed feeling I have about this. It's basically, it's not exactly clear or where you have to go, or what you have to do to find these places. Because this game doesn't have a map. This game doesn't have anything that can like, give you a little bit of a help. And I'm not saying that I need a tutorial or maybe I need a helping hand. No, I would just give me a little bit more of understanding where I need to go. Right, in some ways Elder Ring does that, some ways, now nevertheless Elder Ring and just like from software games in general, they are very cryptic in the way they're as, uh, you know, tell their stories or the ways that you will be able to find out what to do next. It's very cryptic. It's, maybe it's understandable, that's why I said it's more of a, like kinda, a mixed feelings I have about this part, so I can't really say it's a good or bad thing. Now, it delivers some of the spectacular and beautiful design of this world. It very is eye-popping and all the secrets to find. And on top of that, incredible music design and beautiful music, songs, and everything that has been portrayed and played here. I absolutely adore and love. But that's it. These were all the positives within this game that I've experienced. Everything else, well, <laughs> in part of this video anyway, is gonna get into negatives. And there's a lot more negatives that I have to mention. So, the story, as I already have mentioned, right, some parts of it are phenomenal, some parts, but ge general, this story overall is not very good. It's very cumbersome, but also, you really have to know the story and be at least somewhat knowledgeable regarding of the journey to the west, and I had no clue about that. I do know who is Wukong, right, in general, but not to the point that it's just I know how the story evolves and goes around through the journey of the West, and who exactly is Wukong. I know only what I have seen and learned from Wukong from manhwa and manga, anime, and of course different styles of these entertainment, right? But that's really it. It's very, very kind of like bleak, if that makes sense. And as such, after that, I just it was very difficult for me to follow through this story of how it was about, it was going to go about, right? Now, I was a little bit confused as well regarding the ending. Uh, do not worry guys, I'm not gonna uh, spoil anything, don't worry. 
Now also regarding the ending, I actually will on purposely make sure not to include any sort of gameplay that will be at the very later stage of the game. And, but I will have a little bit of diversity in terms of my earlier on gameplay and when I'm like really over leveled gameplay as well. Like it's just right there now, then and there when I finally replayed this damn game three times just so I could get this damn platinum trophy because it was very tedious and I will get into that a little bit later. So combat, let's touch on that unfortunately. Like I already mentioned there's some parts that are good, some parts, you know, fucking a lot of parts are bad. I hate the fact that the combat actually starts to feel quite restrictive and gets actually very, very dull. Best word to use it is repetitive. Now, I, what I hate about that, let me explain because there's some parts people will not understand what I mean by repetitive or dull. The animation locking, number one, is a problem I feel that this game has. Especially when you're in that light attack combo, it genuinely feels awful. And especially when you're about to uh, like land a last hit while you, you know, utilizing this combo, you can't do nothing about it, you're screwed, especially against the bosses, or actually even normal mobs too. And as such, it kind of makes me question, is there something wrong with the button layout or the sensitivity? Because I notice this quite often. It's just feel like they don't work half of the time. It happens more often than I can count. And where I, as an example, mash a button so I could get health back up, right? A potion back up, right? And just, he doesn't do it. And I'm like, come on, dude. Am I doing it too fast? Do I do it too often? And then, uh, no, that can't be right. Because occasionally he does do it. He does get his health back up. It's so awkward and so awful, really. Now, I don't have a problem how slow he takes, you know, his health. You know, how he slow he drinks his uh, gouge, gouge, I believe that's how you pronounce it. I apologize. But, like, basically, that's not the issue because you can actually upgrade that. There's a specific gouge, gouge portion that you can actually take quickly and you replenish your health. There's sort it's done on purposely. It was done by the design. My problem is it feels like when I'm telling my character to get health back up, bloody do it, please. I'm in the middle of the boss fight and this boss is ridiculously fast and doesn't give me room to breathe. Oh my god, don't get me started with about the bosses. The bosses are either a complete pushover or just takes hours to complete and beat. It's just no real variety in terms of the difficulty. Like, it's too easy or they're way too damn difficult. Regarding the being difficulty and in terms of the bosses and varieties that you go to face through, I hate this. In terms of the progression that you make through this game, your raw stats never upgrade. All you do, how you become stronger, is by and due to your skills, right? Your equipment and your weapon. I actually want to level up my stats, my raw stats. I want to get stronger that way because I feel that I'm not really progressing. Don't get me wrong, in terms of how, you know, if you make a comparison between level 1 uh, Wukong and comparing to like maybe level 300, right? Obviously, there will be some differences. But again, it's not as big of a difference as you would see from level 1 to level 300. In Elden Ring and just from software games in general, when you level up, you can clearly see how strong you are. When you were level 1 and when you were level 150 as an example, or 200, 300, whatever. You feel like, okay, this is a normal mob enemy, before I used to 2 to 3 tap him, but now I can just 1 tap him and he's easily done and easily killed. I just don't feel this kind of a progress while I even finished the whole game three times going through the story and getting a platinum trophy and yet I'm going to my uh, to the older mobs that I just well, was a little bit struggling at the very very beginning of the game but now I can easily kill them. No, I can't do that. I still have to 2 to 3 to 4 to hit them. Uh, yeah, sure, the damage scaling has increased and I actually do feel okay, I'm actually stronger but I'm not that stronger. And it's just, I feel, I don't feel good about it, unfortunately. It feels like I wasted my damn time and I'm just like, I don't feel the progression. Sucks, man. And regarding the weapons, remember I already mentioned that, okay, you can level them up, you can sort of change them too, and obviously they will be beneficial to you. But I don't like the way there's not enough variety in that. Now, don't get me wrong, even though there's only weapon that you use as Wukong and it makes sense for it to be stuff, because that's his main weapon, but just, I hate the fact that it's very basic. In terms of the moveset, this is uh, honestly a good thing though, a part of it that it offsets by different stances, but again, the stances are not exactly, well, stances if that makes sense. All the stances are there for is for you to utilize a heavy attack. That's all there is for. 
you don't actually use different combos while you have a different stance on. It's, this is not Ghost of Tsushima style gameplay, unfortunately. It's a lot more dimmed down. That's why I said it's dull. It gets very repetitive. And it's not very good. I really don't like that. It really pissed me off as well because I noticed this quite relatively early on. Especially after like for the first time while I was playing through this game on chapter 3. I'm just like, just not about the combat now, but just in general about this game. I started to kind of despise this game more and more. You know, like any time when I was like going up against the bosses and I was getting frustrating because at uh, like uh, chapter 3, the bosses got way more... I shouldn't say tougher, they become much faster. My character doesn't seem that he's as fast as he could have been. You constantly have to cheese the system, right? You have to immobilize your bosses, combo them, uh, make sure you get the last hit in with your light attack in the combo that you're using, and then you use, uh, you know, many of all, I forgot the name, basically you have a duplicate uh, system, uh, shadow clone system, basically. And so, you just keep on repeating the same maneuver time and time again. Now there are ways to actually to kind of like, I don't know what to, how to say this, diversify. But yet again, is it really necessary? Because a lot of bosses, they have different moveset and the design. Some of them are catered towards more the distance range attack and some of them caters more closer range attack, obviously. And just a bit of everything, more or less. That's why I said the bosses and how they are, they're phenomenal. But the way you go about them is awful. So, you see, there's always some good and some just some parts of it is bad. And it really gave me a very bad taste in my mouth that I just do not like this approach of this game. Oh my god, I have to mention this again. And I constantly kept on noticing this as well. It's just, it pisses me off every single time while I play through this game. So, like I said, I already finished this game three times just to get that platinum. I hate this awful placement of the invisible walls. Like, you clearly can see, okay, I know for a fact I should be able to get to that place. No, I can't, for whatever the reason, but there's an invisible wall. And, but yet, occasionally, there are different parts of the map, you can get to some weird zones and areas. And it makes no sense. It's not very well done, I, I personally think. I, I have to mention this anyway, yes, the FPS drop still cons is consistent here. Not in a good way, because they are always drop like less than, what is it, 60 FPS. I choose to go for the performance because like my ways of playing is not 30. Because that 30 FPS is unacceptable in any video games nowadays in 2024. And then just like having playing this game at 60 FPS by constantly drops, it really can, it can get you sick, mind you. And it constantly get me a little bit dizzy, if that makes sense. No, it wasn't too bad to the point I just I couldn't play because obviously, look, I played the game enough to get the plat, so obviously it wasn't that bad. But just needed to mention it in here anyway. You know, I'll be honest. I had good time with this game to some extent, right? I have enjoyed exploring. Uh, mowing down some of the easy bosses and mobs, right? It's a beautiful world. I love looking at it. It's very slow and, and quiet some parts. And I like that. And yeah, some parts of the story were very well done as well. But it's just the game heavily focused on bosses and bosses and bosses. And it's just also like mentioned, like being poorly designed, some of them, in my opinion. It's just most of that kind of really ruined it for me. It just took away a lot of the appeal for me in this game. I started to kind of not enjoy learning the, you know, the boss's mechanics. I'm just glad that it's over. And knowing the fact that, well, this is, I believe this is rumors. I may not be, uh, may not be correct, but I did hear something about that Game Science will be making a sequel, and also two DLCs or something for this game. I know that for a fact I will not be picking up a sequel or a, a DLC. Unless, of course, if they make these radical decisions and changes within this game. Like, for example, I want to feel actually that I get stronger while I level up. But if it doesn't, it's just like, okay, now I know what I don't really like about these sorts of like, aka Souls-like experiences. So, a little touch on as well on the Platinum adventure within this game. Yeah, this was miserable. <laughs> I'm sorry, because there is an RNG system. Can you believe this? And it's just pissed me off. Especially when I was playing this game, I did not know that this game had any sorts of RNG system within of getting some of the trophies. And if really much, like pretty much, I had to replay the game all the way through again the third time. 
because most of these RNG systems trophies. Oh my god. And on top of that, some of the uh, guide, I had to use a guide because this was not possible. Some of the trophies don't even explain, explain to you in the description what you have to do. They're very not like clear about that. Um, yeah, sure, maybe some poetry or something that they've included in those trophy lists and the description. But it just makes no sense to me, at least. Like mentioned, I don't know the story of Journey to the West and how it goes about. Maybe people will understand it, but me personally, not so much. Ah, there's so many of these stupid trophies that they decided to put in here. Like, especially the RNG really pissed me off. And it really gave me a bad test in my mouth and I'm just like, I'm done with this. Man, going up against these bosses, especially uh, every time I notice that when they're about to land an attack on me. And I know for a fact I got out of the way because the only way really you can dodge, well, just dodge. Yeah, you can parry, uh, but again, that's part of the ability, so it doesn't exactly count as a normal parry. Nevertheless, you dodge out of the way, you know for a fact you got out of the way, but your bu buttons don't really work. It just, just doesn't seem like it, and they land an attack on you and you get hit. It's so frustrating and it kept on happening to repeatedly to me and due to this is also why I constantly just had to restart the fights because these bosses like had a very unfair system design. At least it doesn't feel like it was done right. It's There's something about this game really much just rubbed me the wrong way and I don't know if I really liked the experience of this whole adventure. Ah, such a wasted opportunity personally for me. Now, if I would have had to give it an over score, overall score, it's definitely like maybe a, maybe like something like a six out of ten. It's nothing special. I do not recommend getting into this platinum trophy within this game because if you're gonna get a six, uh, like a, a platinum for this game, a fucking three out of ten because this is not worth it. It's it's going to get you miserable. Uh, well, yeah, I feel like I dragged on long enough with this review. And it just pisses me off talking about this game even more. So yeah, no more of this game, thank god. Done with the DLCs, I'm definitely not going to be picking that up. And I'm done with these, just this franchise, if that makes sense. It's not for me. What a disappointment. Alright guys, thank you so much for watching. Like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys all later.